Tom Macbeth is a talented film, TV, and stage actor who has inhabited a few characters more than once. He is currently performing on stage at the Vancouver Playhouse in Death of a Salesman. It is the second time he has tackled Willie Loman, the complex character created by the iconic playwright Arthur Miller. It is my pleasure to welcome Tom Macbeth to Studio 4 to tell us more. Great to be here. Second time you've been Willie. The second time, yeah. Uh, about f I think it was probably about five years ago. Mm. Uh, we did it in Hamilton at the uh, Aquarius Theatre and I remember the the review for it was Mr. Macbeth joins the Great Willies. Oh, well. <laughs> Which I thought was, Gee. we better cut that one out. Uh, perhaps we should. Uh, it's an Everest <laughs> of a role, as they say. Yes. Do you remember the first time you read Death of a Salesman, not as an actor, as a kid, or did you? I was not interested in theater as a young mm. man. I didn't get into it till my early 20s. Really? And what did you want to be when you grew up? <sighs> a firefighter. I had, no, I had no idea what I wanted to be. Okay. So not no till your 20s. Yeah. Hmm. I had become a computer programmer. Oh. But I well, that's no helpful. Yeah, but I had no idea what I wanted to be. Mm. Mm. So when you do a role for a second time, is it easier? Is it more difficult? Are you harder on yourself? Can you remember the lines? What? A few of them echo. Mm. A few of the lines echo. Um, we had a short rehearsal period the first time we did it. Uh, John Cooper directed the first one and right. this one. Uh, in this one, we had a, a, a nice long rehearsal, so we had a chance to really dig much deeper into it. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, we got it up on its feet and learned the lines in the first production. This one, we had a lot of time to talk, a lot of time to dig into it, a lot of time to try different things out. Sure. Who is Willie Loman to you? What's the message? What's, I mean, we've probably, almost everyone I know, I know has certainly seen this play or read this play, who is, the, who is Willie Loman to you? Well, for me, he's a very positive little man. I mean, full of fears, of course, but, and as the fears start to choke him, he, um, he somehow shoots back up like a geyser, back mm -hmm. into positive territory. Although he may be fooling himself, he's still, he's still moving forward, even, even as he runs out to, uh, to finish his life. It's a positive thing for mm -hmm. him. And his message to his sons? Oh, <laughs> uh, the damage that can be done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I find a lot of my father and Willie, not that my father was a salesman. He Mine wasn't. was. Uh, but his, um, his own securities were visited mm -hmm. on us. And I think Willie's securities are, insecurities are visited on his sons. Mm -hmm. On Biff and ways. Happy. On both of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. And his wife, Donna. Uh, his wife, Linda, I mean, played Linda. by Donna. Donna plays Linda. Yeah, Donna it was Linda, Biff, and Happy and Willie. <laughs> yes. yes, okay, <laughs> that's right. Um, when uh, you, you're dealing with a man who's way out there in the blue, riding on a smile and a shoe shine, mm -hmm. and when they start not smiling back, that's an earthquake, where does that fit in the play? Do you remember? Well, it's certainly the next door neighbor's Charlie's point of view on, yeah. um, on how he views Willie. Yeah. And it is just, it is another point of view of who the man is. Can't uh, get no respect. You can't get no respect. Mm -hmm. How he has other points of view on Willie as well, though. Yes. <laughs> now, when you're actually doing this play, uh, there seems to be some uh, uh, streaming of consciousness, putting it all together. How difficult a play is it for, for you to do or for the cast to do? Uh, th th there, are, there are some scenes that re required a lot of rehearsal, uh, mm. lines that follow each other so quickly and sometimes not in uh, a real logical sense, but there is a logical sense there. But finding that innate logical mm. sense, the restaurant scene where he goes after his son. Yeah. When I was 21, um, I walked out. When the... Uh, and by God, I was when when Ben, his brother, comes into his mind and Ben's lines inside his head mixed with Charlie's lines who doesn't hear him but as an actor does, mm -hmm. uh, they, can be, they can be kind of discombobulating but they, they make a strange sense. And, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. So when you do TV mm -hmm. or film, 
how is it different for you? Uh, I think it's mostly respect. As an actor. I, I think it's mostly respect that you get from the stage mm -hmm. that you don't get in film and TV, um, unless you're one of the stars, and that that's, uh, rarely happens. Um, the live part? Or the not, I don't mean it, that you're not alive when you're filming yeah. television, <laughs> but you know what I mean, yeah. like when you're doing it live on stage in a theater and you feel the audience and you are working well, the whole, with... The whole sense of theater as a family is, is much more there than it is mm. in, in the film and TV industry. Um, uh, long-running series, of course, like Stargate, uh, you do become part of that family and you're welcomed in there and, and um, you get a chance to bring your point of view into it sure. from time to time. Mm -hmm. uh, stage, that is much more so. Uh, but if you're doing a feature film and you're part of the support cast, um, you are support cast. You're talking, basically talking furniture. Mm -hmm. and, um, <laughs> you notice they, they don't they don't want a lot from you they want that much and that's mm -hmm. all they want can you watch what you do is it easy for you to uh, watch a rerun of, of Stargate or or watch yourself in a movie I do watch I do watch the men I cringe often mm -hmm. there's uh, other times where I go oh I did that quite well uh, but often it's as cringe as much as I'm sure yeah, so. Well, I often wonder what it would be like if you were a Hollywood actor to sit in the, th in, uh, the King's Speech or something, mm -hmm. you know, if you were in it, sit in the back and watch the audience watch you. That would be something. It would be really something, <laughs> wouldn't it? Would it? My, my, my. Uh, the gypsy part of you, uh, what's next? Where are you going? Do uh, you know? Uh, no, I'm just hanging out for the film and TV, mm -hmm. and it is hanging out. You get auditions sure. and get rejected. Mm -hmm. Go golfing. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Is your golf good? Uh, no. 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 But you're trying hard. Uh, you don't try hard. I've, it's a head game. I've actually threatened to quit because uh, it, it's just not improving. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> well, well, it depends on the year, don't you know? Well, it may. I know. Uh, and the funny thing is you can t stay away from golf for two years and go back and you're better. What's that about? Maybe you relax. <laughs> Maybe know. that's it. Or, you, or no expectations. <laughs> That's, mm -hmm. that's, actually, that's the way to do a play as well, no expectations. Is it? Yeah.